I think of the, the digital future as being effortless. It's hard to think about a specific application of effortlessness, but ultimately right. decision making disappears. So at any point in your day where you're having to think about what am I doing next, those are the places where technology is going to intersect and start to bring value. So if you think about a, I think of it as a, a centralized device to, to take away decision making and make even the tough things disappear. So I don't need to remember to order toothpaste. I've, it, it appears and it's in the correct format. And that's one example of, of effortlessness from through the path of your day. And in an ultra-connected world, I think we just expect communication to be there instantly. Uh, we don't worry about which network we're using. We just want services to work. And it needs to include video. It needs to uh, include access to everything we are doing uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Shopping, banking, uh, consuming, entertainment, uh, news, and so on. Uh, and all of this to be there in a seamless fashion uh, without having to worry about access, locking in, or this or that. So we can do away with uh, looking for Wi-Fi hotspots, but uh, everything is just there and we are walking around in a sort of wireless cloud. Um, I think that's how I see the future. So I think many people in the industry, you know, think about this on a daily basis because that's the exciting part of what we do. I think from my point of view, seeing all the different cars, UAVs, people that are now interacting. Um, we're going to have an automated, connected future whereby our smartphone will connect to the car, to the UAV, and to the traffic lights. So for example, if I walk across a road, I probably don't even need to look at the traffic lights. You know, everything should stop before it hits me. I think it's more of helping people make their life easier with services. Uh, with the things that make it more efficient, uh, uh, connect things that you want control of. Uh, so I think it's not more of exciting, uh, you know, more futuristic things in that sense. It's more of, of help, uh, efficiency, uh, and where we can actually adopt technology where we can't adopt technology today. Uh, where with 5G we can actually apply much, much more. Uh, and I don't think that as a normal uh, citizen, I'm not even aware of the opportunities yet, and that's pretty exciting. One aspect of the ultra-connected future is already here. You know, I can turn off the lights in my home, a thousand kilometers away. This is a really big surprise for the wife, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to get a call now, she's going to complain. Why 5G World? Uh, because I think it's a great meeting place. And I think it's really important for us to demonstrate 5G applied, to so make sure that people understand what 5G can deliver uh, because it's about putting technology into perspectives and put technology into the applied versions so they understand why they need to invest in 5G networks and, and also start to innovate and start to, to bring strategies to the table to, to start the 5G journey.